Well, we're at the end of another year, uh, 2020, and a very strange one it's been. But uh, there's been some interesting content on the channel and some milestones met. So it's um, just a look back at uh, what's been happening from getting this little thing down here. Yes, you. Um, to, yeah, having a resemblance of a life. But um, <laughs> we shall have a look back and um, basically Merry Christmas to everybody and uh, hope you have a good new year. Cheers all. See you next year. Bye. Deb, what? whatever's going on? Christmas is being put away for the year. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>it's all clipped in nicely needs a good clean obviously but I now have an engine cover and to me that looks a lot better um, I don't like seeing I like seeing engines but only when they're nice and shiny and chromed and everything else like that and the yeah, the engine isn't a particularly pretty one um, and I do like the cover so it's personal preference but there you go that's how you make an engine cover fit with a cold air induction system we're finished. Are we finished? I think we're finished. Um, yeah. And a shame of me saying, I'm in my comfies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just about to put mine on. I've had a long day. You're having a long day. But there you go, it's all back. We are clean and tidy, wallpaper up, all the new, decorated, everything back in its place, lots of mirrory things and them. Yeah, their things are sprayed in the previous video as well. Uh, <laughs> and they're still looking good. We've got the home back up again, like that, and the wife's putting Instagram pictures up. And then obviously, you crack it open, oh, and again, not easy with a camera in your hand. Let me just get into a better position. Ah, oh, great video, Reeves. Good content. Well done. See why nobody subscribes to your channel. By the way, if you do want to subscribe, hit that bell. Go for it. So, that is on there, and crack it open. Hello! <laughs> Are you sponsoring McDonald's today? Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by breakfast. <laughs> or a lazy breakfast, we'll call it. Should we look at this two litre engine in the back? Yeah, of course only there's two litre. Actually there's three cylinders, you can't see the spot box, yeah. Well, yeah. No, there is something in the spot box. <laughs> <laughs> totally standard. Yeah. <laughs> Morning! Morning! I've got something to show you. Is, is this a Deb's top tip? Well, 
You were going to put these in the bin, weren't you? I was going to put these in the bin. Right. Little nuggets that we all love because they get everywhere. Packing nuggets, yeah. Right. right. Stick them in your sink. Okay. So put the tap on. And as if by magic, they melt. They melt and dissolve and less waste in your bin. So as you can see I'm nearly there, basically just uh, yeah, just uh, warmed it up with a hairdryer again and I stuck a, a knife under there. You can actually hear it going into the glue rather than the battery and then just basically teased it away. So um, yeah, hopefully now a little bit of a pull and the fingers underneath to support it and there you go. And this is why Eddie Mechanics charge so much money. I've got to get that bolt out there to try and free up that pipe that is in the way of that spline drive in there to get this manifold off. Yeah, are we having fun yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's not what you were using earlier, is it? Yeah, it's just um, changed slightly. Upgraded. Upgraded slightly. <laughs> Sometimes, just sometimes, <sighs> yeah, great idea, let's have a pushing connector. I just wiggled it uh, and pushed it a little bit more to make sure it was seated okay, and the ball dropped out, and there it is, inside a sealed headlight. Are we having fun yet? Well, getting there, so that's the top coat on. Looking pretty good, if I say so myself. Nice and clean, nice and fresh. Uh, let it uh, now just sit there for a couple of hours, dry off, cure, and uh, we'll get some of that matte lacquer on it, and that'll be finished. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. So, looking at this, it's got a little arrow that points forward, and there's some instructions. Should we read them? Maybe. Um, to me, you've got an arrow. Oop, let me see if we can get uh, get some light now. An arrow just there. An arrow. Get some more light just there. So one would assume that that clips over the top like that with the arrows both facing the right way. Be an assumption, wouldn't it? Right. I'll have a quick read instructions just to make sure. Uh, pop it on, and then we'll go and stick it on the car. Fun this. Ted! 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 Where are you going? This way, Dad. Time to play a little game. Oh, 
believe in you, Ted. <laughs> Here he comes. Hello. <laughs> Cheeky boy. Heard us up. Now another quick top tip when you're taking your spark plugs out, they're quite long reach on the Audi and you will find that if you use extension bars like I do, they don't always hold. So do yourself a favour, get yourself a bit of tape to hold them all together because when you take them out it's nothing more annoying than the socket bar dropping in and the, and the uh, spark plug actually sticking into the end there. Just makes your life a little easier. And that's our swipe ones out, so a little tug, off it goes, and now we go around the front and I find out which one I've forgotten about, because let's face it, there's always one, here it comes, Ooh. looking good so far, obviously you're going to have your fog lights connected still, if you have fog lights. But I think I can drop it and take those off afterwards. Pretty much just gently lever it out. And there you go. <laughs> Bang. One bumper off. Right, let's, let's get those wires off the fog lights and everything before I do some damage. Um, just a quick video, just wanted to say thank you um, because today I reached 500 subscribers. But again, just wanted to say thank you that 500 people find what we do as a family interesting. Um, and that comes from me and from Debbie, Deb, uh, Nathan, and of course, little Teddy as well, who's <laughs> sitting here nice and content at the moment. So again, just a big, huge thank you to the 500 people that watch and subscribe to our videos. More to come, and again, keep liking, subscribing, tell us what you want to see. Um, I know the content could be very random, but that's the nature of the channel. Well, nobody likes to admit failure, but in this particular case, um, I'm going to have to.
It's literally just completely stripped the threads out of it, so there's no way that's going to work again. Um, so I've got uh, two new ones ordered. I thought I'd get two because uh, if this side's like that, then I might as well do the other side at the same time. Um, so, unfortunately, this poor old thing's got to sit on blocks for a few days. This is life. These things happen. Never mind. Right, this is going to be, um, I think, a part two. Come to Scotland and say, you have lovely weather. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, here we are, Lot Lomond. Took us an hour to get here. The view is made up for it though, it's stunning. The view is very nice, it's definitely. beautiful. Yeah, it'd be better if it weren't raining, but there, yeah, we're in Scotland. <laughs> Set the up. Ready for race apparently. Right, let's do this. Three, two, one. Well, we had lots of bleeps that time. So I've got some tips, I've got some dip, <laughs> pink stuff, my star drops. Let's see how it goes. Nobody 
well internet. Not a great day. It's a nice day out. There's blue sky. It's not too cold. And it's a nice day for a drive. So me and the wife went to Stamford. Did a little bit of shopping. We like it there. What I don't like is what I'm about to show you. And this is what's happened to my car. Off he drove. And like I say, fortunate for me, uh, there was a really nice couple who, when I came out to the car, said um, what had happened. And they caught the registration and they caught a picture of the car itself and it's been reported to the police. Right, let's hit it then. Two 12 mils, I believe. Yes, they are. Everything's 12, 13, 14 on these bikes. Well, almost everything. Apart from the screws and the Allen keys and anyway these are 12 mil let's go for it So good morning people of the internet. Today I'm going to intentionally put myself through hardship, torture, pain and there'll probably be a lot of swearing. There will be swearing. Such an idiot. And one of the places I had to visit was here. Now, it doesn't look much, but this was my youth. This is where everybody congregated on an evening. And um, yeah, the old bush shelter used to be the place where, <laughs> where the action used to happen. Uh, there used to be a bench there years ago, but that's gone now, which is a shame. And um, up here, Mm, I don't know if it's ever cleared, but we had a hole just there. <laughs> a hole was created. I don't know who cut it actually, but the hole was created and there's some eaves up there. And we used to get in there and uh, I don't know if they're still there, but um, there used to be some Party 7 tins up there. <laughs> in the video that I'm doing for the end of the year it's been a great 2020 uh, despite everything that's happened but it's been great because of you guys thank you each and every one of you for subscribing watching the videos and uh, have yourself a very Merry Christmas and a great new year cheers YouTube say bye Ted <laughs>